This is Pat Iyer with Teresa DeWitt Lynch. We have been planning a two-day virtual conference to focus on the role of the LNC in helping attorneys who are handling criminal cases and specifically gunshot wounds. Teresa is one of our speakers. Teresa, can you give our viewer just a taste of what you plan to cover in the first of your two sessions at the conference? Absolutely. Um, I'm actually going to be building on the, the lectures previous to mine on that first day. Uh, we have, we're going to kick off the conference with the, with the nationally known ballistics experts, Michael Haig, and he's going to talk about the basics of ballistics and what he does during a, a criminal case consultation. And that's important for a nurse to know, a legal nurse consultant, to kind of have a basic understanding of ballistics when you're dealing with gunshot wounds. And then we've got Victoria, who's going to talk about forensic evidence, um, just give a preview of that. And again, when it comes to criminal cases, everything is based on forensics and what can be scientifically proven or not proven. And so that's very important, too, for a nurse to have a, a basic understanding of forensic evidence and collection uh, when you're dealing with criminal cases and especially gunshot wounds. Then we're going to have Tristan, who's going to talk about uh, you know, the evidence that could be or should be collected by medical providers in an emergency room or in a hospital setting for gunshot wound cases. Uh, you know, again, when we're analyzing in a, in a gunshot wound case or a criminal case, you don't only analyze the, the injuries and the mechanism of injury, but you do also look at the standard of care and you look at what was collected, what wasn't collected, or what could have been done and what should have been done. So she'll, she'll talk about some of those things. And then I'm going to move into the basics of uh, just a general presentation on how to attack a criminal case consultation. And so I'll talk, I'll give just a, a few uh, you know, points comparing the civil litigation system to the criminal, uh, the criminal courts. Um, we can talk about we talk about um, you know military versus civil criminal trials and how to how a legal nurse consultant functions there, and then just the process of consulting in a in a criminal case and what you look for and how you utilize that in forming your your own um, expert opinions. I'm absorbing what you just said, Teresa, and just to recap. Our conference is starting with a nationally known ballistics expert, Michael Haig, followed mm -hmm. by Victoria Morton, who will be talking about forensic evidence. And she is a nurse who is quite experienced in this area. Tristan Riston will talk about how forensic evidence is collected in the healthcare setting. Mm -hmm. There's a right way and a wrong way for doing that. And you'll give an overview in your first session on the role of the LNC in helping with criminal cases. There's one thing that we don't do and we will not teach you how to do at this conference. Can you tell us what's that one thing that LNCs do not do when they get involved in these cases? Yeah, so, you know, mysteries in criminal court cases, they center on the whodunit often. And that's the one thing that legal nurse consultants cannot tell the courts is who did it. Uh, you know, we may collect the evidence, DNA evidence, that can then be analyzed by a DNA analyst. They can help to determine the who done it. But we, through our through our work, we can we can support the charges. We can help to refute the charges, but we can't tell them who committed the crime. All those years reading crime novels. Just yeah. for naught. <laughs> <laughs> and all those lovely courtroom scenes. You'll get a taste at this conference of hearing from a prosecutor and an attorney who has defended these cases about how attorneys view their role and how they determine who done it and how we help to collect the information and interpret the information that will help the attorneys in their role. How does our viewer or our listener get information about that content, about this they go to They can go to this website up here. It's uh, http um, colon forward slash forward slash lnc dot tips forward slash gsw. All right. And that link again is http colon forward slash forward slash lnc 
dot tips forward slash G S W. If you're watching this video after that time, you will also be able to invest in the video recordings and get all the information that we shared at the conference. We would love to see you there. Thank you.